Good evening. Good evening, Jessica. How are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. Good to good to listen to you and see you again. There are some I have been reading and there are some uh, familiar nouns, okay? Okay, not nouns, your name. I have here Loreni, right? Max, I think, and Osvaldo, right? There are some different. Mateo de Jesus, how are you? Uh, I am fine, teacher, and you? I'm fine too. I'm great. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ready to start working. Well, we have around two minutes, right? Okay, we are going to start. We have here now time. I have been checking the chat, right? I'm answering. Jennifer is going to be as a listener and uh, Rousseau, she's not going to attend, okay? So we are going to start. As you know, well, we need to start and we need to, to talk about the general uh, information that we have, right? So, let's see. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Osvaldo. 
لو اوكي سو ذس از ذا جنرال برزنتيشن ريمبر ذا وي اولويز ستارت ذن يو ار جوينغ تو انتروديوس يور ساف ناو ام انتروديوسين ماي ساف ذن هير از ماي انفورميشن ماي فول نيم از Claudia Yesenia Sosa Mestizo, right? And I have been teaching English for about 24 years. And also I have been involved in the um, uh, teaching uh, about uh, how to become a teacher, right? So I have been involved in that for about 16 years. Let us hop to work in a very dynamic way, right? That is what I really hope that you can enjoy it, that we can have fun, but also we can learn at the same time, right? I know some of you because you were in the previous um, level, right? But there are some others that I don't know you. Even though all of you are going to have the opportunity to introduce yourself. What we have here, it is dates for your evaluations. And remember that also we have uh, the information about the attendance. We have the percentage about this. And uh, it is really important to understand that we have to have the 80% not only in your homework assignments and your evaluations, right? It is not only about homework and evaluations. Also, it is related with the attendance. We're going to be working in the platform. There you will find out your homework assignments and your evaluations, and you will have the whole month to work on them. But the due date, it is December the 8th. That is the last day that you have for working in all these homework assignments and evaluations, right? Give me a second. And also, what else? Remember that uh, you have, uh, you can download your book as you did it in level three, right? You can download it, you can check it if you want to print it, well, you print it, otherwise you can use it uh, from the web. Since this is, the, this is the first class, this is something that we might do, right? We need the requirements. As you can see, some of you have written like oyente, right? You are going to be like listener. Whenever you have any travel because you're working or any activity, this is what you write there. But it doesn't mean that you are going to be like listener the whole month. This is just like an emergency, right? Then we have your camera. What about your camera? Your camera, we need to turn on our cameras. Remember that you, whenever you are going to participate, you need to turn your camera. Whenever you are going to participate, right? Also, <clears throat> at the moment that we are participating, your classmates are participating, you are going to turn off your microphones, right? This is just for um, attending the netiquette, right? 
Um, and it is because of the noisy that maybe we might have. It doesn't mean that if you have uh, some problems in your house or maybe we have different noises, you are not going to participate. No, you can do it, right? You can do it and we are going to understand that there are some moments in which we cannot control all those aspects, right? And uh, the last one, this one that we have here, it is this one. It says, participación activa. What does it mean? Anyways, you don't have any choice, but you need to participate. You need to talk, you need to interact with your classmates and with the rest of the uh, participants in this class, right? What else? What else do we have in here? Here is the information that I was telling you. I'm going to erase this. What do we need in order to succeed in this level? Well, we need to attend the class, the 100% or at least the 80%. It means that you are going to be connected, that you are going to be participating and that you need to remember the attendance that we are going to work with it two times. The first time it is going to be around uh, 8.30, 8.40, right? And the second time it will be 9.40 or so, kind of. And remember, please try to help me with that. Try to uh, tell me when sometimes I forget, you see, about the attendance, just tell me, hey, teacher, about the attendance, because we need to do it two times. And also remember that it says, whenever you are going to say present, you need to have your camera on, right? like uh, most of you did it in the previous level and we have no problems. But there are some of you that you didn't turn it on, right? So we might. What else? When we finish our class at 10, well, whenever you have questions, whenever you have doubts, we are going to take some extra minutes for you to uh, participate. And uh, of course, if you have doubts, we are going to talk about it, right? And the last one. Permisos no disponibles. What does it mean? What does it mean? You can tell me, <clears throat> teacher, I'm not going to, to, to be in the class. <clears throat> Sorry. And I can say yes, and no problem for me. But what is the real problem? Do you remember? What is the real problem? Hello? Hello? Yes? And um, so? Check the the time that we are connect. Yes. Thank you, Elsie. What happens is that I can say, okay, yes, you cannot uh, attend the class. But in the end, if you don't have the amount of time that it is required for you, because you need to have 120 minutes per class, but if in the end, we don't have the total amount of minutes that are required for you to pass to the next level, I am so sorry, 
And I'm not going to be in charge of that. I'm not the one. The system is the one that is checking you. The only thing that I do is just to reassure that you are here. That's why I say your name and you say present. But that is the only thing that I do. But the real attendance takes it the system, Zoom. So I'm not the one in church, right? In the, uh, the evaluation, remember that we have to advance in the homework assignments and also the evaluations every week, every week we need to advance, right? Bend. What else do we have? Oh, well, whenever we are going to be working with uh, breakout rooms, we have the breakout rooms. You can ask for help whenever you don't understand about the activity that we are going to be working with. You can ask for help. And I'm going to be checking who are the ones needing help, right? And uh, the last one. There is something very important for everyone here in this class. We need to respect each other. You need to respect your classmates. You need to respect, um, we need to respect each other. I'm going to respect you. You are going to respect me. All are going to be, um, everything has to be respectful in here, right? So. We haven't had any troubles with that. I think that we have worked really well. The previous level, well, you were working really nice. You were participating, right, in every single activity. So I think that we are going to keep working in the same way. And uh, even though some classmates, when they make mistakes, we need to help them, right? We need to correct them. We need to help them. And in that way, we are cooperating one to another one. Then, what else do we have? The four weeks that we are going to be working are these ones, right? So the first week, the second week, and you need to take into account that you are going to have your evaluations and your homework assignment. But you cannot take more than the uh, December the 8th. You cannot take more time, more time than that. So you need to accomplish all your activities. Even though we have like split it, all the activities per week. Any questions so far? No questions? No. No? Well, clear. Okay. Clear. Okay. So we are going to start. But I have already talked too much. And now it is your time. It is your time for participating. As I said at the beginning, I know most of you, right? I know most of you, but there are some others that are kind of new. But everyone is going to participate. And you're going to introduce yourself with general information. And you're going to turn on your cameras, right? Now it is time for you to participate. Now, let us see. I would like to listen to you. Um, let me see. <clears throat> Are you going to do it on your own? You're going to be the volunteers? Or do you want me to follow the order that you have in the... Uh, list that we have in the attendance. Oh, are you going to be volunteers? Okay, thank I'm you, Elsie. Okay, thank you, Elsie. 
Hello, my name is Elsa Magaña. I live uh, from Metapan. I work in, I work at Abigail Salazar and I'm so happy to, to be here. Okay, welcome again, mm -hmm. Elsie. Thank you. Yeah. Who else? Ah, hello. Okay, I'm going to tell you, let me see. Eddie cannot participate, Jennifer cannot participate. <laughs> now everyone is going to write down a <laughs> listener. <laughs> okay, Elsie has already done it. Now, Jessica. I know Jessica, she said that she is a listener. Hey, what happened, Jessica? And Kenya Lisette Barrera. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, oh, wow. Well. Yes. Okay, Jessica. Okay, Kenya Lisette Barrera Hernandez. Hello, my name is Kenya Lisette Barrera Hernandez. I live in San Salvador. I work, I work in Cyclone of the Salvador. Um, nice to meet you. Day. Okay, thank you, Kenya. Nice to meet you too. Now let us listen thank to you. Okay, let us listen to Kenya. Good night. So sorry, I listen my name. This okay. is a okay. <laughs> Hello guys. Hello, teacher. My name is Jennifer Evora. I'm journalist, and it's a pleasure for me. Uh, I'm start in this class in this group, and um, I hope I learn learning much. Okay, thank you very much, Jennifer. Okay, you are going to be as a listener, right? But I said your name because yes, yes. I was reading the ones that were uh, like as listeners. But that is okay. Thank you very much. Now let's see, I said Kenya because I have two Kenyas. Let's see, Kenya, Kenya Lisette had already participated. Kenya Stephanie. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Kenya Reyes. I live in San Salvador. I work at Curtis Industrial. I like uh, listen to music. And in my free time, I dedicate myself a, no sé cómo se dice, emprender. To um, um, entrepreneur, okay? Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Um, begin. Can we see you, Kenya? What, teacher? Can we see you? Because I cannot see you. Ah, es que estoy en el hospital. Oh my goodness. Sí, y entonces okay. aquí está oscuro, pero sí. Okay. sí. So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> so be careful. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, Kenya. Sí, es que lo, no, creo que las muchachas de inglés corporativo no le comentaron que los lunes y jueves yo acompaño a mi papá al hospital. No, they didn't say that. But whenever you have those travels, Kenya, you can be like listeners, right? And right. then I, I understand. And then uh, if I read uh, you are as a listener, so I'm not asking you to participate that much. Just when you say that you can do it. Oh, okay, teacher. Okay, but thanks a, a lot, Kenya. Solamente. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, let us listen to uh, Lucia Veronica Nerio. Good night, my name is Lucia. Uh, I live in Ciudad Delgado. I am from San Salvador. Um, I work in San Salvador. Okay, thanks a lot, Lucia. Thank you. Now, Lucy Mateo de Jesus. Hello. Hello, Jesus. No sé si me miran. 
I cannot see you. Now, yes. Okay. Uh, my name is Mateo Torres. I am uh, 28 uh, years old and I am accountant in working in Conecta and I live in San Salvador. Okay, thanks a lot, Mateo. Thank you. Osvaldo, Garay. Good evening. Good evening. Um, hello, my, my name is Osvaldo Garay. I live in San Salvador. I am a friendly person. My Osvaldo, favorite is... but we cannot see you and you, you say that you are friendly. <laughs> Okay, my favorite hobbies are playing soccer and watching series or anime, and I really like Mexican food. Okay, but we cannot see you yet. Uh, I, I am not at, at home. Oh my God, okay. Okay, Osvaldo, thank you very much. Now let us listen to Patricia Alvarado. Good evening. My name is Patricia Alvarado. I work in Universidad Pedagógica. I live in Suyapan. Thank okay, you. can we see you? Uh, not yet because I don't arrive to my house. Okay, so you are commuting. Okay, thank you. Remberto Calderón. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, hello. So hello. Far, it's, so good to good. See, it's good to see you again. Good to see you again. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Roberto Calderon. I am a aeronautic engineer. So, and I hope so learn English and a smile and laughing too much in this course. So, it's nice to see you again. Okay, nice to see you again, Remberto. Thank you very much. And finally, we are going to listen to Valeria Michel. Good evening. Good evening, Valeria. Uh, my name is Valeria Mongen. Uh, I am 25 years old. I live in San Salvador. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Valerie. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys. Now that we have introduced ourselves uh, with this general information, I'm going to give you like some other tips for us to improve a little bit that introduction, right? We are going to be like a dancing. We are going to be um, um, a little bit ahead or giving just like the very basic information. For example, this. Then we are going to see the cards, right? But I'm going to give you like this three steps for us to introduce, to have a better introduction. And of course, we are going to be able to, to give a little bit more information. And the first step that we have, it says, that we can include our names. It says, I'm going to underline. It says, the very first step is to mention your name. And that is something that you have already done. And that is okay. And that is why it says, this part is easy. That is that piece of cake. But also, maybe we can uh, include some phrases such as, I don't think we've met before. When we are new, right? We can say that. Or when it is the opposite, when we know each other and then we say, I think we have already met. When it is not the first time for us to know each other. And then you immediately can say, my name is, or um. 
and immediately you say your name. Or, nice to meet you. I am, you say your name, but also say, pleased to meet you. Or you can say, let me introduce myself. Or I'd like to introduce myself. Maybe in the end you can say, hey, my name is Melanie, but you can call me Mel. When you want to be called for a shorter name, right? If you want to be called, for example, if your name is uh, Lucia, and then you can say, well, my name is Lucia, you, but you can call me Lucy, right? Or if your name is, uh, for example, Jessica, and then you say, but you can call me Jessie, right? There are some shorter names that we can use, but now it is our time to ask to share and to say the way that you want to be called, right? But we are going to, I'm giving you this information because tomorrow you are going to introduce yourself randomly in a different way. Now you are not going to say just, hello, my name is and I work at. You are going to give more information about you. This is the first one. But then we have the second step. What do you do? Of course, you are going to mention about your job. About what you do. And then that is why we say. The second step might sound simple, but it's actually the most important part. Usually people say their name and the job title. But is there how to say it about you? What is exactly what you do? Examples. As you were saying, some of your professions or some of your occupations, we can include something like this. I am a copywriter. Officially, my job is to write content for advertising, but really, I help companies tell compelling stories about their brands. Or I am the CEO, which is a fancy way of saying that I make sure that the company is run in the most efficient way possible. So you see, we are not saying only, I am a copywriter, only. We are adding extra information about your job. And that is what we are going to do little by little, right? So we have step number one, step number two, we are talking about our professions or uh, occupations, right? Now, and we are going to see a step number three and then we are going to make like an exercise. Let's see. Because we have only three steps but I cannot, okay. And the last one, it says, we're going to add extra information like nice facts that are relevant about you, right? For example, you have expressions such as, today, I'd like to walk you through. For the next 20 minutes, I'm going to explain something. Or maybe for the next two minutes, I'm going to explain or say something about you. I'd like us to, and you are going to mention or you're going to add any, any information about yourself and decide on a follow-up for this. My purpose today is to share inside information about, or finally, 
I'll let you take the lead, but let me know if you'd like me to jump at a certain point. This is when you are explaining something about, um, maybe uh, you are explaining about um, process or maybe instructions, and then you said, okay, let me jump at some point if you don't have problems, right? But little by little, don't worry that much. This is just step by step. I'm going back and we are going to work just in the first point and in the second point, just some brief exercises. For example, for example, choose, choose any expression for introducing yourself, the one that is not, but not the one that is, my name is. Hello, my name is, no. I want you to use another one, the one that you prefer from the ones that we have here and say it in the chat box. Type, type it. Choose one and type it. I'm going to be waiting for it. You can say, let me introduce myself. I am, and you say. Even the last one. My name is Melanie, but you can call me Mel. That is another way just than just using my name is. Okay, I'm waiting. Okay, Osvaldo, thank you very much. And then it says, today I'm going to talk a little about myself. Very good, Osvaldo. Let me introduce myself. I'm Patricia Alvarado. Okay, good. And then Amanda Escobar. I'm Amanda. Okay, no introductions. Yeah, saying I'm Amanda. Okay, good. Any other one? Only three participants? What about the others? Because if we cannot complete this, we cannot follow up to the second one. Amadilson Vasquez. Nice to meet you. Good. I'm Elsa. Pleased to meet you. Very good, Elsa. Okay, Berta, we are just using a different introduction, right? In the ones that you have here on the slide that you can see, we are introducing ourselves, but not just saying, hello, my name is. We are using different ways of doing it. That let me introduce myself. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is, but you can call me and you choose like a shorter way to do it, okay? Nice to meet you, my name is Kenya. Okay, very good. And this is the easiest part. Let us see the second step. In the second step, now we are going to talk about our jobs. I want you to write, I want you to use something like this. I want you to explain, to take as an example, the first one, when you say, I am a copywriter. Officially, my job is to write content for advertising, but really I help companies 
tell compelling stories about their brands. I want you to talk about your occupations or your profession. First, you are going to say it. I am a copywriter, nurse, seamstress. It depends on your occupation or professions. But then I want you to tell me more information about your profession or your occupation. Let us try. Let us try. Type it in the chat box. <laughs> okay, Jennifer, that is a good point. <laughs> Okay, one thing about me is I love coffee. So I do too. So Osvaldo says, I am a sales agent. I make sales to clients who have postpaid plans and I do contracts, renewals. Very good, Osvaldo. Very good. Okay, then Jennifer also wrote, I'm journalist at work at Chanel. I work in work at Chanel. Okay. What about the others? Tomorrow, you are going to introduce yourself using this. Okay, Lucy, it says, nice to meet you. My name is Lucia. I am an accountant. Lucy, I am an accountant. An accountant. Officially, my job is taxes and payments to suppliers. Good. Elsa, I am an industrial engineer and I work in the quality area. Very good. All the ones, all the ones that have not participated yet are going to participate tomorrow because I am going to ask you to introduce yourself here. I'm not going to ask Elsa, I'm not going to ask Lucy, not even Osvaldo, nor Jennifer. But the rest, yes, I'm going to ask you to introduce again here with more information. Roberto. My job is about agriculture, okay? But I think se le fue in Spanish the word agronomica, right? Yes. <laughs> error, error de dedo, teacher. Primer okay. Día. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Roberto, don't worry. Okay. And it is about agriculture. So you are with the nature, right, Roberto? All the time we are with the nature. Yes. All else. time. <laughs> yes. It helps you a lot. Clau. <laughs> <laughs> you are a slave. Okay, guys. So, Remberto is safe too for tomorrow. He's not going to participate. Okay? And then Kenya. Kenya says, Nice to meet you. My name is Kenya. I am secretary in the IT area at work at Curtis Industrial. Okay, good. Okay, Patricia Alvarado says, I am a teacher. My job is teaching to people, adult, adult. They are teacher to preschool schools. Okay, good. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for participating. And now we are going to uh, have like, do you remember like memory games? Because I want you to 
interact with more vocabulary. We are going to practice with vocabulary, but let me see. Where I do have this? Can you see the cards? Can you see the cards? Yes. Okay. We have different vocabulary that we have for the first lesson for today's class, but we need to match them. We need to look for the pair. Now you tell me numbers. Tell me a couple of numbers. Eight Four. and ten. Eight and ten. Okay. Eight and ten. They don't match. Eight, eleven. Eight and eleven. Eight and eleven. Oops. <laughs> ten and eleven. Ten and eleven. Yeah. Ten and eleven. Okay. You did it. You did it. What about the others? One one and sixteen. One and fifteen. Okay. One and fifteen. <coughs> and four, four and five. Can you repeat? Uh, Can you repeat, Berta? Four and seven. Four and seven. Okay. Four and seven. All right. Don't take notes. Don't take notes. This is just memory. Twelve. Twelve. And seven. Twelve and seven. Let's see. Twelve. And um, seven. Oh no. Six. Five. And I'm sorry. <laughs> can you can you repeat, Jennifer? Sixteen. Uh -huh. And two. Fifteen and two. Fifteen. And two. Oops. Fifteen, twelve. Fifteen and twelve. Okay, let me check. Fifteen and twelve. You got it. Good. Good for you. One Good. and two. One and two. One and two. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ah, you have taken notes, okay? Eight, Eight. and four. Eight and four. four. Okay. Four. Eight. Yes. And four. Five. Seven. Five. Five. And three. Five and three. Oh my God. <laughs> Seven and four. Seven and four. Seven and four. Eight. Eight. And seven. Eight and seven. Eight and no. seven. Ah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. And four. Fourteen and four. Fourteen and four. <laughs> Fourteen and eight. Fourteen and eight. Fourteen and eight. You got it. Okay, good. <laughs> what else? Six and nine. Six nine. and nine. Six and nine. Keep the vocabulary four. in your mind. A four. And six. Four and six. 
four. Ah, no, no, no. Sixteen. Sixteen. And four. Sixteen and four. Sixteen and four. four. You got it, guy. Good. So we have only two more couples. Mm -hmm. Seven. And I no recuerdo. <laughs> Seven and thirteen. Seven and thirteen. Uh, no. Nine. Nine. And fifteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Nine and thirteen. Okay. You got it. And of course, we have number six. And we have and number seven, seven with price. price. Do you remember the vocabulary? Yes. Okay. Price. Price. Gray. Gray. Battery life. Battery life. Uh huh. A strong. What else? A strong. Strong. Wait. Do we have a strong? Wait. Okay. This is the vocabulary that we have. Let us check. The vocabulary. Let's see. Teacher, you can take the attendance. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Elsie. Thank you. I'm gonna do it in this right moment, okay? Okay, you know right what you have to do. Let me see. You have to turn your camera on because I need to see you. Let me see. Okay, let us do it. Okay, you know the dynamic here. You listen to your name, you say present, you turn your camera on, right? This is the first time. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Absent? Okay. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Thank you. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. I'm here, teacher. I'm sorry for um I don't have a, a camera on. Okay. Good. Jessica Araceli Diaz Rubayos. Jessica? Okay. Oh. We can see you. Okay, Jessica. Jessica Carolina Rodriguez Aldana. Present teacher. Okay. okay. Jose Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. Yes. Jose Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Always here, teacher. Always here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Good. Kenny Elisette Barrera Hernández. Present, teacher. Ay, Kenia, usted ya preparó lo de Navidad. Yo no he preparado nada todavía. Present. <laughs> yes, Kenia. <laughs> okay. Kenia Stephanie. Present, Present teacher. teacher. Okay, good. Es que Kenia está bien seria. Can you list that? Yeah. 
Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. ¿No? Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Presente. Okay. Presente. Ok, thank you. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Presente. Kiet. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Presente. Ok, ahí está. Teacher. Hola. Este, este me desconectó un rato el, la clase. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ok, don't worry, Kenia. Solo es que estaba bien seria y le digo yo que usted ya arregló para Navidad y yo no he arreglado nada todavía. Ahí, poquito, poquito, vamos. No, but that is okay. So, it, it is good. Thank ok, you. Um, ok. Uh, Osvaldo Vladimir Garay. Present. Ok, Osvaldo. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Present. Kier. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Y Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Not here? Okay. Now let us wait just for the second round and we are going to continue with uh, let's see test information. Present teacher who who? Who said Amanda, present? Amanda, Amanda. Okay, Amanda, okay? You're the last one, okay, Amanda? Okay, guys, so we're going to have now, and as you can uh, see in your book, we have from unit one, this is the first lesson, and the topic that we have to include for today's class, it is purchasing and storing. The main objective for this class, it is that you are going to be able to describe different features about the products that you or someone else workplaces purchase. So this is related to products. And also it has to be related to your workplaces, right? It, it is going to depend from the features that we might have in them. So this is what we have from the first unit. And now we have the vocabulary that we were working with. That vocabulary is this one. This is the vocabulary that we have. We have size, weight, price, Dimensions, variety life, storage, <clears throat> sorry, functions, and the warranty. These are the words that you were working with uh, uh, having the payers, right? But the first exercise that we have from the book is this one. And what we have to do is to match the word with the description. So you have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different descriptions and you have the eight words. We are going to work this just for us to start like sharing and interchanging um, communication with your classmates. You are going to complete this exercise if you don't have the book you can get like a screenshot take like a screenshot to this one please because we are going to work in the breakout rooms in the breakout rooms you are going to complete the exercise i think that you're not going to take more than three minutes but the main point here it is interaction with your classmates let us uh, work on this let me see we are going to have around five or six participants. 
per each team. Let us go and complete this exercise with your classmates, please. Let us try. Ahorita lo soy. Claro. Creo que... Voy a ver si se me descargó. Descargo. Berta. You were not included in any room? I have already changed and sent you to a different room, Berta. No entiendo por qué no la mueve el sistema, Berta. From the main. Can you listen to me, Berta? Hello? Can you listen to me? Berta? Hello, Berta. Can you listen to me? Yes. Is the six with E. Letra G me dijeron cuál. Price. Price number three. Okay. Digamos, eh, literal, eh, siento que. que... Sería un cuerpo relativo. 
tendría que ser eh, sí, como algo así. Algo como algo bueno. de cuerpo relativo en cantidades que contienen, o sea, algo así. Para mí, size debería ser, yo pienso que debería ser el A, pero no, no sé si lo dejamos en el F, definámoslo acá. Habemos cuatro, habemos cinco, votemos. Que vote la teacher y decida. <risa> No Pregúntale a la no teacher por qué está congelada. Teacher, ahí la vemos congelada y está hablando, no puede ser en esa imagen. Es que ya ven. <risa> <risa> Así es el poder de la mente. <risa> tu personalidad. Tu personalidad. <risa> <risa> eh, entonces, no sé. Eh, es que le. Always. The amount of money required of paid for something. We love es el precio que tú tienes requerido para pagar por algo. Yes. Have you finished that? Yes. Um, just one minute, please. Okay. Okay. Be ready to come back in two minutes, guys.
Okay, guys. Okay. After interchanging your ideas with your classmates, now let us complete this. But we are going to uh, read the complete answer. It is not that we are going to say, for example, for letter A, you say uh, eight or five. No, you are going to read, for example, if you think, this is just an example, if you think that for letter A, the correct answer is bodily life, you are going to say, Battery life, measurements of proportions of some kind. You are going to complete, to read the complete idea because I need to listen to your pronunciation too. Okay, any volunteer for the first one? Letter A. Okay, dimension. Dimension measure of proportion of some king. Okay. Measurements of proportions of some kind. Can you repeat Adilson, please? Repeat, Me please. Measurements. Measurement. Or proportions. Or proportion. Of some kind of some kind okay so you think that that is the main four. right that is yes. four okay thank you adilson what about the others any other volunteer Uh -huh. um, the, the number three, letter G. The, the amount of money required or paid for something. Okay. The amount of money required or paid for something. Can you repeat it, please? The amount of money required. Amount of money. Amount, amount of money. Amount of money required. Required. Or paid, uh, required or paid for something. What is the word that you relate with this one? Excuse me? What is the word that you have selected to match oh. with this one? Uh, number three, price. Okay, price. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Okay, any other? Osvaldo, thank you. It's a storage. The space available for retention of something. Okay, available. 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 Okay. So storage, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Elsie. Function. 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 Okay. Function. Practical use or purpose in design. Okay. Practical use or purpose in design. Purpose in design. Okay. Good. So we have storage, we have function, we have uh, dimension, and we have price. What else? Warranty? 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 What do you think goes with it? Uh-huh. 
promise to repair, replace something within yeah. a period of time. That's it, okay? Okay, warranty, warranty. Warranty. Promise to repair, replace something within a period of time. Warranty. Okay, and um, what else? Function. Function, Practical it is... Use. Aha. Uh -huh. Practical use for purpose in this time. Okay. Thank you. Yes, but it's good for okay. you to listen. Okay. I want to listen the pronunciation. Okay. That is okay. Okay. So we are missing a uh, battery battery life. We are missing weight and we are missing size. Number two, weight. Number two. Wait. Uh -huh. mm. A body's relative mass of the quality contained by something. A uh, body's relative mass of quantity. Quantity. Quantity contained. Contained. By, contained. By something. By something. Wait. Okay. Thank you. So we have there. Weight, right? Yes. Battery weight. life. Battery life. Um, a me measure of battery performance and longevity. That's it. That's it. Longevity. That's it. So we have them all, right? So we have them all. I know we are missing, no, wait, it is already, size. Size. What uh, size? We, we, we are not. Uh, sure. Uh-huh, sure. Uh -huh. But we confundimos size, weight, and dimensions. <laughs> yes, it is, it is, it is confusing, uh, but, uh -huh. but uh, we select size to measurements or proportions of some kind. Okay, so for you, size goes with measurements of proportion of some kind. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Pero adivinando. <laughs> but what about, because you're right, we have size, we have dimensions, and also we have um, weight. Yeah. But what about a thin several dimension or magnitude? A thin overall dimension of magnitude. Is dimensions. it size? Is it weight or is it dimension? Dimensions. And size? I am agree with Elsa. It's in this same group, but um size for me okay and uh, what about weight 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 a body's relative mass of the quantity contained but something is that size, weight, or dimension? Because we have the three of them. A body's relative mass or, or the quantity contained by something. Is it four, two, or one? We have three. Maybe. 
Aha. This is a class of. <laughs> Where do we see this? Where do we see this content? In which class do we see that? Weight, size, and dimensions. Size, because a uh, body is relative made of the quality because size rango detalles uh -huh. so what is the answer <coughs> a body's relative mass is it size weight or dimension um things overall dimension of magnitude is it dimension weight or size and measurements of proportions of some kinds measurements of proportions of some kinds Mm -hmm. Listen, listen. If when we are going to have like a description, the first one that we are going to take into account, for example, if I have dimensions, do you think that in that description, we are going to have dimensions again? Do you no. think that in the description we are going to have dimension? It is a thing's overall dimension or magnitude. Do you think no. that we are going to reuse the same word for describing it? <coughs> no, right? No. So we can cross it out. So dimensions cannot be a thing's overall dimension or magnitude. That is the first one, because we need to look for the, um, how can I say, the coherent one ideas. And immediately when we see that I have exactly the same word for describing, no, I'm going to take it out, right? Mm -hmm. But then, so dimensions has to be or measurements of proportions or it has to be a body's relative mass of quantity containing but something which is the best which is the best in my experience options measurement of proportions of some kind Okay. Yes, dimension. Okay. And uh, it means that a body's relative mass, it is the size. Is it the size or is it the measurement? We need to look for the clue ones, the clue words. Looking for, if we, what is measurement? What do we understand about the word measurements? What is that? Measurements of algún tipo. Oh my DLC. Okay, you translate it, that's okay. <laughs> Okay, that is okay, okay. But she said, okay, she said it. Measurements, okay, measurements. Yeah. Measurements and medidas. Aha. Uh -huh. Of proportions. Medidas de algún tipo. So for me, size. Proportions. In difference. In, yes, in different. So it's size when you talk about kind and measurements. So it's a size. Okay. <laughs> I think it's size. I think it's size. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Um, Sí. Uh, you want the, you want the answers, right? <laughs> Body's relative mass. Body's relative mass. Or the quantity. Body's relative mass. Contained by something. Contained by something. By contained by something or the quantity what did you say for letter let's see bodies let me see what was the answer that you gave me bodies relative mass you said um, weight right Right? That is what you said. So if this is this, what is a, um, um, a thing of orbital? If I cross this out, because this is here, and if dimensions cannot be here because it is already here, so it means that here is number four, right? Because it cannot yeah. be here. And if we have yes. already if we have already chosen number two for this, so which is a thing of all these dimensions? And size. That's what we have. Four, one, and two. Even though all of them are kind of confusing because all of them are with uh, measurements, all of them, right? But these are the correct answers, right? Four, one, and two. The rest, I think that we didn't have troubles with even price storage because they go very specific with them. But now there is one aspect that we are going to study from this vocabulary. We are going to go deeper with this and we are going to talk about something like oh my goodness i need to erase all this Listen to the equations and listen to the vocabulary that now we are going to use. How many products does your workplace buy? Which are, which ones are they? Approximately how many units do they buy of it? How much money do you think they spend? Give me a second. Okay, these questions are going to be related to the vocabulary that we have already uh, just worked with. But in these questions, we have two expressions that are different. And we need to understand the reasons. For example, I say, how many? How many? And I say, how much? What is the difference for using two different expressions? I say, how many? And I say, how much? What is the difference? What uh, do you think? Unos, uh, countable or no countable. Okay, that's it. We have countable and non-countable nouns. And then we are going to recheck the previous vocabulary, but we are going to advance a little bit in this. I say, how many products? 
is products countable or uncountable? Countable. It is countable, right? We can count one product, two products, three products. And then number two, how many units do they buy? Unit one, unit two. So we have one unit, two units, three units. I can count them. So countable. And what about the last one, the last question? How much? What uncountable. kind of, that is? Uncountable. Uncountable, does no. that Uncountable. Uncountable. Yes. Are you sure? No, not countable. <laughs> okay, are you sure that it is non-countable? Non-countable. What about the others? What do you think? Money is countable or uncountable? Is uncountable. Okay, type it. Type it on the chat. Type it. Type it in the chat box. Countable or uncountable or count or non-count noun. Decide. Type. Money. The word money. We're talking about money. Osvaldo says uncountable. Elsa, she says that it is uncountable too. Remberto, Osvaldo, Elsie. And what about the others? What do you think? Countable or uncountable? Okay, Osvaldo, Elsie, and Jose Adilson, and Remberto. But how can you say that this is uncountable if I can count money? I can count money. We count. Um, we count yeah. coins. We count uh, bills, but I don't know. We so count. You don't say one money is two money. One so money, two money. money. Yes, correct. Very good, guys. Very good. Money is uncountable because we count the bills, we count dollars, but we don't count money. We don't say it, as you said, we don't say 25 money. We say $25 or any, any other currency, right? But not the word money. So yes. that's why this is uncountable noun. And uh, if I do have uncountable nouns I need to know how to use the equations how many in how much but if we are going to talk about money there are different ways how to ask different questions but first we are going to answer this for example let us imagine that you have products in your workplace. How many products that your workplace buy? Think about one product that your workplace buy. Think about one product. Which ones are they? They are in plural. You can have one or two or three products. Think about only one. And tell me, how many products does your workplace buy? One, two, three, four, five different products. Tell me one product about your workplace that they buy. Peppers. Peppers, okay. 
So you are talking about that that the the workplace. Uh, we are thinking about food. No, 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 no. Paper. A paper. I said I I heard pepper. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Paper. paper. Ah, okay. You need yes. paper. Okay. Your workplace need paper. Okay. That is one product. Any other from the rest? What do you, what do they buy? Your workplace. What do they buy? A cameras. Cameras, okay, you need cameras. You are a journalist, so you need cameras. I'm thinking about only one, okay, only one. Even though the equation says how many, but I'm thinking about one. One product that your workplace buy? Cameras, paper. I think that someone is writing. But mouses, keepers, chairs. Okay. Yes. Yes. Someone was saying something. No, I hear. Okay, but. Okay. So we need to think and immediately when you say, okay, this product, another product. You need to think, is this product countable or uncountable product? A paper, for example, Elsie. Paper, it is countable or uncountable? Mm. I don't know. Okay. okay, let us think it's about funny. it. Let us think about it. In the cameras, Jennifer. Jennifer, camera is countable or uncountable? Is countable. Okay, it is countable. Osvaldo, because you have written in the in the chat box, mouses, keyboards, or chairs are they countable or uncountable? Or are they countable. mixed? I don't know. All of them. Countable. Okay. Okay, countable. What about the others? You haven't said anything yet, but I'm sure you're going to do it. Okay. Countable, Berta? What product you think it is countable? Berta? Okay, you don't want to talk here. You're going to talk in your different teams. You are going to name three different products that your workplace buy, and then you are going to classify them if they are countable or uncountable. The ones who have already participated, I think that you're not going to have troubles, but the other ones you need to express, you need to share with your classmates. Let us go and practice just for three minutes with your classmates, and let us just emphasize in this right moment, just in the first questions, just in the first question, don't worry about number two and number three, just highlight it, highlight just the first one. Let us go, three minutes, only three minutes for you to share with your classmates. You don't want to talk here, maybe you're going to talk to your classmates. Amanda, are you going to participate? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. 
I'm going to send it to room number three. Okay. Entonces, countables yes. first. Okay. Me ¿Te parece? Uh -huh. ¿Tienes alguno? Solo, solo vamos a elegir tres y después vamos a decir si son countables o on, on countables. Just. Eh, okay, tres por yo... cada uno. Ah. Okay. okay. Three from your workplace and three from Roberto's workplace. Okay. Okay. Um, Pero, okay, yeah. but teacher, um, <laughs> I have a really good for that song, but uh -huh. I know how to, how do you say, who must, how do you say, um, bomba de mochila? <laughs> Um, I don't know. No, I don't know how to say kumas, but I'm going to look for that in this moment. Okay, keep so, working, and I'm going to synops... look for that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ahí estoy amolado con eso, pero bueno, voy a buscar algo más. Okay, okay, okay. thank you, teacher. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, um, si querés, uh, no sé si tú tienes las tuyas, tenés contables on. Okay, guys, there are going to be three per each of you, right? It is not just three from the whole team. Okay? Mm -hmm. Um, three for each one. Yes. Okay, this is uh, an idea. Um, we we have a confused because uh, in my case, I think that it's only three As for group. Team. <laughs> no, as a team, as a team, yes. No, there were three per each one because you work in different places, right? So maybe the needs that you have from your workplace, it is different from Berta's workplace. That's why you need to think in an individual way. You from your workplace, Berta from her workplace, Osvaldo from her workplace, and Patricia from her workplace. Right? And Valerie also, because we have right. here, we have more students in this team there are many okay okay teacher okay thanks for the it's a clear idea <laughs> <laughs> okay don't worry keep working
comfortable o no comfortable. Porque si la puedes... Pero es medir, fíjate. Pero la contaba por yardas. Ah, pero... Pero no sé si es contable o... Yo creo que ese es uncountable. Porque... Porque yards no... O sea, yards es una medida. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pongámosle no contable. Ok. Repetirla, por favor, sería... Fabric. Y si decimos, por yeah. ejemplo, guys. Yes. Y si decimos, por ejemplo, estamos hablando de yardas, solo, solo entré cuando estaban hablando de yardas. ¿Yardas de qué? Tela. Tela. Ok. Cuando usted va a un lugar textil y compra, ¿pide la cantidad de yardas o no? Yes. Yes. So, if you can count, it is countable. Ah, ok. Si usted sabe y le pone número a eso, you can, it is countable. If you say, okay. I need 10, 10 yards, mm -hmm. it is countable. Right? So, okay. in, this, so in this case, um, is yards of fabric or no? Yards, yards of fabric. Yes. Yes. Ok. Yes. That's ok, it's sure. countable. So, thank you. Por, por ejemplo, el water, los ga, galones de agua que se compran, el water, water por sí no lo puedo contar, pero los garrafones sí, y entonces, ¿es contable o, o no? Both. Both, ah, ok. If, if I say water, it is uncountable. For example, sí, okay. hey, we need water, we need some water. Mm -hmm. We don't have any 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 water, uncountable. But if I say, hey, let us buy two gallons of water, mm -hmm. two liters of water. Yes, it's, it's two, countable. Two bottles of water. Ahí transformo. Okay. Agua sigue siendo uncountable. Mm -hmm. Pero si le pongo una medida, la okay. oración se transforma in countable. Aunque water va a seguir siendo yes, uncountable, yes? yes? Pero yes. if I add a measurement, una medida, ya sea litro, galón, vaso, taza, that is countable. countable. Okay? Okay. 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 Teacher. Thank you. Yes. Sería el mismo caso entonces de la tela. Ajá. Yes. Puede ser countable or uncountable. For example, but you can say you can give me a, a one tela, no sé cómo se dice tela. Ajá. Fabric. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. When you say fabric, usted no dice quiero una tela, dos telas. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. You say tantas yardas de tela. Ahí. It is countable. Porque le pone medida. One yard, one meter, one centimeter. Ahí va la medida. Mm -hmm. So you can say, hey, how much fabric do you need? How much fabric do you need? ¿Cuánta tela necesita? How much fabric do you need? Ah, you're going to say 10 yards. Ok, ahí le pone usted medida. Okay. 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 Teacher, uh, I write soya bean meal. You? I write uh -huh. so, uh, soya, milk. soya bean meal. Soya bean milk. Meal, no, meal. Arina de soya. Meal. Milk. Milk. Okay, okay, milk. okay, 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 okay. I heard milk. No, it is if it is uncountable. Igual. Yes. Mm -hmm. If if you, you if you want teacher, if you want talking pound, about pounds, pounds, yes. Pound, if you say yes. one pound, two pounds, it is countable. 
Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Yeah, but in these cases that you are correct. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Me voy y vamos a cerrar ya los teams. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank Okay, guys, I am so sorry, but I was, well, we, we, we were working on some exercises with some students. That's why I stayed longer in some, in a team, right? Now, let us see, even though we worked just for the first equation, we were um, thinking about uh, countable and uncountable words, right? So I'm going to move from here but we are going to use your answers to make the, the liaison with this. Okay, guys. Now let's see from your different teams, which are the uncountable nouns? Name them, please. Uncountable, name them. Water. Water. Electrical energy. Okay, electrical energy. Coffee. Printer Coffee. ink. Printer ink. Yeah. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Sugar. 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 Alcohol health. Alcohol health. Gel. Okay. Alcohol gel. Yes. Uncountable, right? Emotion. Emotions. Emotions. Who said emotions? Mm. Ay. Oh, you escuché mal. No, right. Someone said emotions. But I can say emotions. No, Let us see. I said. <laughs> I didn't understand. Did you understand? I think that emotions. Yes. Okay, you said emotions, right? Okay, what do you think emotions are? Countable or uncountable? Can we pluralize it? Can I say it emotions? Yeah, but... Can I say it emotion? In yeah, but. If you talk about emotions, you talk about feel, feelings, so it's... But it's the word, uh, that's the word. That's the yes. word. Emotions. It can be pluralized, right? Yes. And so, it can be pluralized? It's uncountable. It is countable. We can count. I said two emotions, three emotions. Okay. Yes, really? Okay. Yeah. Really? Feelings so, are uncountable. Oh if, if you can pluralize them, okay. they are countable. Whenever you can <laughs> pluralize them, have you seen? Uh, have you seen the the movies emotions? How many emotions do you have? We have happiness. We have anger. 
We have, what else? Yes. I'm counting. I'm counting the emotions. Right? Okay. Okay. And now tell me the countable. Oof. Say. Table, table, chairs, pencils, phones, computers. Ah, okay. They are easier, right? They are yes. easier to classify. I think that we do not have troubles with um, with countable, but sometimes we have some difficulties, little difficulties, just to identify the uncountable ones. But tomorrow we are going to emphasize a little bit more about these uncountable nouns, right? Because tomorrow we are going to finish. But just if you can read what continues with the lesson, because we are going to continue practice with how much and how many for tomorrow. And of course, we are going to include countable and uncountable. Right. Okay. Any questions so far? No. Okay. So be ready for the attendance, please. I'm going no. to stop sharing. Okay. And now be ready, please. Be ready with your cameras and be ready with your ear because you need to listen to your name and answer. Okay, we are going to do it downwards. So we're going to start from the last one even though nobody can leave earlier. Okay, Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Not present. Wilmer Alexander Pres Mendoza Garcia. Absent. Wilfredo Renderos León. Absent. Valeria Michel um, Monge Valencia. Present. Okay, ahí está Valerie. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. No está. Okay, absent. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Okay. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Okay, good. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Kid. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Present. Kid. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kenia Lisette Barrera Hernández. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Just here. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Present teacher. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Present teacher. Elsa Benedicta Magaña. Present. Umaña. And Present. Berta, okay, good. And Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Okay. Okay, guys. So that's Richard. all for this class. Yes, Kenya. Ha ha, Kenya. Present. Disculpe Kenya. que cabal cuando ha pasado listo me saca y empieza a conectar. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you for participating. And see you tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Take care. See you. Bye -bye. So do you. Bye-bye. Present. Present. Okay. <laughs>